loop recording in UAD Luna is extremely easy to do. So let's look at how to do it. And if you aren't sure what it is, after watching this video, you'll see why it's such a powerful feature to use. And it's important to note that you can do loop recording on both MIDI and audio tracks. But for this example, I am going to be using audio. What we'll need to get started with loop recording is a track to record on. So you can see down here, I have this bass track. I'm going to be recording my bass guitar into there. And we want to make sure that it's armed for recording. Mine was, but if yours isn't, you click that and it's armed for recording. And then what we need to do is define the area that we want to loop record on. So we just go up to the ruler section here and then we can just click and drag in here and you can see how it's highlighting the area. So this is the area that I want to actually do the loop recording in, but I like to start the recording one bar ahead and I also like to have it one bar after. This way I can capture that initial attack and any of the tail that I might want. So to expand this section, I just hover over the bottom corner here on the ruler section. You can see the cursor changes, then I click and I can drag that and I could do that for the other side. And now I'm going to have the loop record a bar ahead and a bar after. And now there's just one more thing we need to do before we start to actually do the loop recording. And by the way, I'm Zane. Welcome to Audio Tech TV, where I do audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews. And I have a bunch of other Luna tutorials on here or on the way. So you might want to subscribe for that. Now, here's the next thing we need to do. We need to make sure that looping is enabled or loop playback, loop recording. And that's this button right here. So we want to press that in so it's white or highlighted. And now we're ready to loop record. I have the click track already on here. If yours isn't on, you might want that on there. And I also have it set to do a one bar count in. So you're going to hear the one bar count in and then you'll hear the one bar of clicks. Then we'll start doing our recording here. So again, make sure your track is armed for recording. And I'm just going to hit record and we'll do a little bit of loop recording. All right, so I've recorded a few passes on here. And if you aren't seeing your takes or versions, which we'll get into the difference between those in a second, but you need to click on this icon right here. And now you can see we have our different takes and versions in here. So you'll notice that some start with a V and some have a T. So V is for version. T is for take. Now, what's the difference? Kind of nothing really, except for the name, but a version is always the first recording of that version. So your very first recording is going to be a version, but why this kind of is important is because if we come back, say we didn't like any of these recordings, or maybe we just liked a few parts of them, but we want to do some more recordings. What I can do now is click this plus sign here and you can see it's created a new version and then it's going to record one pass of a version. And then every recording after that will be a take. So this can be helpful if you're say this was our whole verse. And we wanted to have our bass a little bit different for different verses. I could record all of the verses just by doing the loop here. And then I can copy and paste those in other sections of the song later on, or I can use them on other tracks later on. And that's what we're going to look at in a second here. But visually being able to see the V here for the second set of recordings, it kind of helps you to stay organized and you know where each recording session began. So I kind of really like that 
in Luna. It keeps you nice and organized. So the very easiest way that you can use these is just by listening to whichever take you like and saying, okay, I like that take. That's the one I'm going to use. Let's just listen here. I'm gonna turn that off. All right, so I don't like this one right here. I might switch that to this one. We can listen to that. All right, I like all that stuff. It's just this end part. All right, I don't mind that. So very basically, I could just keep it on this here and that's going to be the take that we use for our final project. Now, like I said, we can use these different takes later on in the song or on other tracks if we want. So how we can do that is I can just click on this take and then hold down control on our computer keyboard. Now I'm on a Windows computer. It might be different on a Mac, but it's whatever your basic copy shortcut is. So control and then we press C and that does a copy. And then I can click somewhere else down the line here Let's just say right here and I can press control and V and now we've just pasted this. So now I have the same take, take two, but it's further down here. However, watch when I go to take four, maybe I want to put take four further down, but if I click there, there's nothing here. That's because we've just copied to the take two lane. So you got to think of each of these as a lane. And if you paste into the lane of T4, then you're going to see that paste when you're on T4, but not when you're on T2 and same thing like that. So say we want to use T2 here, but we want T4 further down. So I'm just going to delete this. And you can just click on it and press delete on your computer keyboard and that gets rid of it. So let's say I want take four further down, but I know I want take two here. So I'll go to take four, copy it. And again, control C to copy. And then I go back to take two and then I can paste that in here. And now that is the take four that I've just pasted onto take two. So you can see they are slightly different. This isn't the exact same take two there. And we can continue doing that throughout our song however we want. If we want to put it onto another track, I'll just create another track real quick. All right, we have that track. Now let's say we want take three onto that track. So we click, control C, go down here, control V, and now we have that take on a whole new track. So if you were recording a bunch of different guitar parts for different sections of your song, you could do that all within a loop and then you can copy and paste them out to different sections and different tracks in your song. Same with vocal recording. It can be really powerful for putting together really strong vocal takes and sections of your song. So you could record your, all of your verses, all just within looping and then you can put them later on. And there's another extremely powerful thing we can do with our loop recordings, but we're going to look at that in the next video right here. And if you liked this video that you just watched, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more Luna tutorials and audio tech tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching for audio tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating fist bump. Thumbs up.